What have I told you about having fun? Oh, that thing's too much fun. Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Ah uh, yes. More fun, more gear, more toys. What have you bought? May I present the Cornell Plexi. This is so much better than the last, uh, than the last pile of... <laughs> that you made me play through. This is awesome. What is this? Um, basically, this is a Cornell Plexi 7. Right. Seven glorious watts in a plexi style thing with a 12-inch cab. Uh, has to be said, we're not using the 12-inch cab because we don't want to go deaf. We're running straight into the ox. But this thing mm -hmm. is awesome. Can we show the back of it now? Yes. Here's it's a the... work of art. So, uh, Dennis Cornell who makes Cornell amplifiers. Based in sunny South End. In sunny South End, not far from you. You should get in contact with him mm, because uh, he's a well-respected amp builder. Um, he used to work for, Greg told us, he used to work for? Um, Vox Jennings. He used to work for Vox and Jennings and then started his own company called Cornell. Now, you, you do see these pop up. You do. Quite often on eBay. And you picked this up from the auction. I did. Do you want to tell everyone how much you pay for this? After tax is 525 quid. What a bargain. Um, it, it, it's got the most amazing smell. The, the <laughs> Tolex has got, it almost smells like leather. It's got a real kind of organic smell about it. Um, there's not much to write home about on top. I mean, I will, with my trusty camera phone, go, on. go over here. Well, we'll tell, let's turn the game right down. Let's see how it cleans well, up. Well, that's the thing. For there the, isn't the lovely people really a gain as much. You've got a volume. Okay, well that's the game. And you've got a tone. Okay. You've got an edge. And then you've got the output, which is an attenuator. So you can effectively turn the amp down by turning and turn the gain up at the same time. So, but we'll leave it on A, because A is unfiltered and untweaked and stuff. Right. The has. I mean, that's a great clean sound. Clean it up even more? Can do. Let's play. Um... That's lovely, isn't it? It's really sweet. Um, however, Eight is where the action is. Let's wind the tone up and the edge up a bit. Now. Output A, B, C, D is effectively a attenuator, so if you play a chord. Yeah. I adore this thing. That's brilliant, isn't it? it sounds great. Oh, that's it. W w w whatever that is, yep. leave it there. I will. <laughs> so even though this is called a Plexi, mm -hmm. it's actually a EL84 based amp as opposed to? An EL34 based amp, which I would consider to be your Marshall output valve, and EL84 is more your Vox right. style valve. But because, well, we were asking the question between ourselves, because Dennis Cornell used to work for Vox, or? Jennings. Jennings, um, whether he just prefers the sound of an EL84 to a 34. That would make sense. Mm. <laughs> uh, and that's with no pedals in the front. Obviously, 
these things are to a certain extent designed to take something nice and gritty on the front end. So if you um, stamp on one of those things, what we've got down there. So we've got a blues breaker, the new Marshall uh, blues breaker. Uh huh. Um, we should say the gain is cranked up. It is. So without the blues breaker, it sounds like this. <laughs> Want one? It can be yours. Yeah? Yeah. I'll sell it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> Should we leave it there? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's another one of those things. Um, I, I, we're not, I, I'm not trying to show off with all these things that I've been picking up recently, but it's more to say that, you know, the deals are out there. If you're after something really tasty, and I don't just mean the, the normal run of the mill stuff, if you're after something a little bit different, the deals are out there. You don't have to put pay through the nose to get you know something really special i think that's the thing i think when you buy something like this this actually new for what it is mm -hmm. hand wired amplifier the mark ii was it, was it 900 980 quid 980 quid for for a hand built hand wired amplifier yeah it's great i mean, I mean look Look how thick the cabinet is. It's, it's beautiful. It's I mean, amazing. We whipped the back off because, as standard, it comes with a Vintage 30, mm -hmm. which is great, fine, fine sounding thing. We want to run it through the ox. Yeah. I, I'm tempted to make a couple of minor alterations to the cab so I can actually get it into the ox easier. Yeah. You know, it'll be customized. That's the phrase, isn't it? Nice. Um, but no, it's a thing of beauty. I love it. Um, it's just a great, thing i don't have a plexi sound i no, do now no you do um so uh really hope you guys got something out of this video if you did get something out of it don't forget to like and subscribe click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio rats i'm paul i'm james and we'll see you next time